right, well, middle of the working week. It's Wednesday. And it's been a busy, well, busy week to date so far here at Old Mates Backyard Tech. We've got videos out every day, and we're going to end up getting videos out for the rest of the week. Could be the first time in a long time I've got videos out every day here at Old Mates Backyard Tech. Having said all that, late yesterday, Arvo, I got a surprise visit from a mate at his computer business. It's Old Mates Tech Acquisitions time here at Old Mates Backyard Tech, and for this one, let's have a sticky beak at what I scored yesterday. One of the systems I was hoping to use as my new main PC, but uh, unfortunately I can't. You're watching Old Mates Backyard Tech. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. It is Old Mates Tech Acquisitions time here at Old Mates Backyard Tech for Midweek Wednesday. And uh, as I said, late yesterday, Arvo, I get a surprise visit from a mate at his computer business and he's dropped off, well, some goodies for me and a couple of things for the other half as well. So I thought we'd have a look at them. Now, one of them, I am disappointed badly and unfortunately. I was so hoping I could use it as my new main PC, my new main rig, because it is a phenomenally good motherboard. I can't. And I am bitterly disappointed by it. I was so hoping I could use it, but uh, I can't. We'll have a look at that. So I've got two systems yesterday both pretty damn good systems by the looks of it um we'll have a look at them but I also got a couple of other little bits and pieces so uh let me grab the video camera and uh well, i'll tell you what we'll do to make it a little easier i'll move the imac and we'll have a look at them here here behind where we'll look at all our stuff now we'll have a sticky peek at what i scored yesterday and i'll go through the one pc system i was so hoping i could use and I can't. All right, so first up, cup holder for the 80 series. You can see there he's printed it in multicolor. He's got a couple of very big 3D printers now, so that's mine. We'll get to that in a minute. Two Mitsubishi keyring-like things for the other half, round and square. They are brass in color. The camera doesn't do it a lot of justice, but they're hers. And this is mine. Now, 70 series, 50 series, 40 series people. That looks very much the old school. That's mine. That is like a key ring I can put on my car keys. So we have two for the other half, one for me, and look at the colour. He's even got the colour right. How's that, eh? And then a multicoloured cup holder for the 80 series, and that fits both, apparently, GXL and Sahara. I haven't quite worked out how to attach it yet, but anyhow... So, there we are. So, uh, that's my, this, you know, dual cups, mobile phone, torch, pen, so on and so forth. So, that's mine. And then, as you can see, if I bring these into a bit more colour, you can see they're basically brass coloured, but they're 3D printed. And um, his 3D printer, I've got to be honest with you, is really quick, actually. That only took about 30 minutes. And both of those took about 20 minutes each. So it's it's pretty quick. That only took a couple of hours. So they're mine, which is nice. Now, so having got those two out of the road, let's have a look at the two systems I also scored yesterday. All right, so here's the first system I got, another one of these red cases that we've seen before. Um, on the front, you can see it's got two USB 2s, audio, optical drive but this is the system I'm really disappointed with I'll show you in just a minute on the back well if we zoom in okay we have PS2 two USB 2's we have two USB 3's we have eSATA two of them Mini HDMI, Display Port, HDMI, 
another two USB 2, USB 3s, dual Ethernet, optical audio, USB 2, okay, and plenty of audio I.O. Okay, so you'd think this is a really good motherboard, and it is. And when I saw it, I'm thinking, you little ripper, I'm going to be able to actually go for a full-size motherboard. This is a full ATX motherboard. Well, let me show you why I can't. And I am bitterly, bitterly disappointed. Really, really disappointed. Okay. Now, it's from my favourite motherboard manufacturer, which is Azus. Okay, I'll bring the tripod in so we can actually whoop, see what's going on in there. So we have, let me lift the camera up, hang on, might be a better idea, might do. So we have two PCIe gigabit network cards, a Core i7, full load of RAM, a full ATI, ATX motherboard, full size. It is a Z87WS motherboard. This thing's a beast. And I'm like, sweet, I can use this. This is gonna be awesome until I figure out I can't. Okay. Let me get that cable out of the road. See that port there? I can't use this motherboard. I thought that was an M.2 port. It's not. It's an M SATA port. I'm like, you have got to be kidding. My mate believes he made this as a 4770K. Uh, I believe it's about 3.7 gig at the bottom end. And when I initially saw it, I'm thinking, you little ripper, I'm going to be actually able to put this motherboard into my main rig. It's a full ATX motherboard, dual, you know, four NICs, you know, dual onboard NICs. So I could NIC tame it and it'd be all good. And I look at the port and I'm like, that, that's got to be an M.2 port. Look up the specs and it's M SATA. I'm like, are you serious? You've got to be, you've got to be kidding me. And then I found out the Z87WS has an M SATA port and the Z97WS has an M.2 port. And guess what C drive is on my main rig? M.2. Uh, I am really, really annoyed. Uh, it's not his fault. Um, but when I saw it as a foot, because you guys know I love big IT and this is a full size ATX motherboard. Look at this. Graphics, right? Six pin plug for the graphics. Eight pin plug for the CPU. We've got plenty of power, you know, and I'm like, oh no. Two extra gigabit NICs, two onboard gigabit NICs, and I can't use this board for my main rig. Uh, unless I can somehow find the money to get one of these pieces. This is all PCIe 3, and. Uh, I don't know, I, 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 I was so hoping, I was so hoping that that was an M.2 port and it's actually an M SATA port and I'm like, damn, 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 damn. <laughs> um, so I don't know what to do, I, I, I would love to use this as my main PC motherboard just because it's full size ATX, okay, and I can't. Um, we'll fire this up after we've done the tech acquisitions video. No, I tell you what, better yet, I'll tell you what, we'll do, we'll do something a little different with our tech acquisitions. We'll go through each of the systems. So I'll get a keyboard, mouse, um, and a power cord and a VGA lead for this. VGA? Oh dear. It doesn't have VGA. It doesn't even have... It's got HDMI to DVI, but I haven't got a DVI lead. Oh, bugger me. I didn't notice that. It doesn't have... 
It doesn't have a VGA card in it. Uh, okay. I'm going to have to see what I can sort out. Because I don't have anything display port. I mean, this is, a, this is a serious motherboard, guys, and I can't use it as my main PC. Because I've got an M.2 drive, not an M SATA drive, and you can't put M.2 into M SATA. It doesn't work. The pinouts are different. Everything's different. We all know that. All right. So, I don't know. I, I don't even know if I can get a card that'll convert M.2 to PCIe. I've got a real problem here, haven't I? I don't have... I wonder if I've got an HDMI to DVI plug. And I can plug it into the plasma. Uh, or even just a PCIe graphics card I can use. That's uh, not powered. Um, I don't think I do. No, I don't. Anyway, all right. Well, let me see what I can do, and uh, I'll see if I've got a um, HDMI to DVI plug, and uh, we'll uh, hang on a minute. I can always use that TV, can't I? Because that does have HDMI. That's not a bad idea. Uh, okay. Um, let me see what I can sort out, guys. I'll be back in a tick. All right. Well, we're up. And uh, as you can see there, it actually has faster RAM than what I've got. I'm on... 1333 this is on 1600 same proc though um, but uh, you can see there it is the uh, Z87WS the BIOS is 2004 it's an i7-4770 so it's exactly the same as what I've got but uh, I've got a mouse plugged in um, Let's go have a look at uh, F7. I've left my mobile phone on. So, 32 gigs of DDR3 at 13 at 1600 megahertz. I may end up using the RAM out of this. Let's go into that SATA configuration. And this thing has multiple SATA ports. The yellow SATA ports are 6 gigabit. The, you can see there, SATA 6 gig. And then you've got um, so yeah, so your yellow plugs are SATA 6, 6 gigabit. And your, black, your um, dark plugs are SATA 6, uh, SATA Try that again. Your yellow plugs are SATA 6, 6 gigabit, and your, you can see here, these are all SATA 6, and your yellow ones are SATA 6, 3 gigabit. SATA 3, 6 gigabit. That's not right. Hang on. <laughs> uh, wait a minute. Yeah, th this thing has multiple different types of plugs. You've got yellow and dark. One of them is SATA 3, 3 gigabit, and the other one's a SATA th uh, 3, 6 gigabit. So, you go to your PCH, you go to your there, you can see all that there, PCIe speed, uh, rapid start, smart connect, all these type of things. CPU, let's have a sticky beak at that, so it does have HT, it does have VTX, so it's exactly the same as what mine is, uh, unfortunately. But it's a real shame, because this is actually 
in some cases a better motherboard than my Z97 so I don't know I don't know what I'm going to do with this unfortunately I was really really hoping that I could use it as a M.2 um, he's got all them disabled I was really hoping I could um, uh, where is it, is it platform? no, I wonder where they keep it in this one, onboard device so you've got a 1394 controller you've got um, you know dual LAN controllers uh, if we go up there you can see you've got um, the Marvel storage and the ASM one of them is SATA, SATA 3.6 and the other one is SATA 6.6 um, you know all these really good things that I could use and I can't because it's an M SATA port rather than an M.2 and um, I, I, I would love to use the board and I can't which is really unfortunate so otherwise what I'd do if that was an M.2 slot I'd back up the main rig and put this motherboard into my main rig unit and just transfer the hardware over and job done but unfortunately I can't which is a real real shame a real shame because I would otherwise use this board because it's a full size board but with only an M.2 um, system it, it just it, it, it's, an, it's annoying really really annoying otherwise I would use it but I'm running M.2 so there's actually nothing I can there's nothing I can do about it at least I don't believe there's anything I can do about it see we've got a um, uh, this thing can go to 3.9 gigs so it's exactly the same as what I'm already running alright exactly the same and as, as I said as much as I'd love to use this motherboard I can't because it's M SATA and not M.2 so I'm not sure what we'll do with this I'll, I might figure out something to do with it but at this stage I have no idea what to use it for so I was I, I was when I saw this thing show up I'm like I saw the motherboard and I immediately looked to see if it had some sort of M port and it did and then I found out that it's an M SATA port rather than an M.2 port so uh, a little devastated to be honest with you so that's one of the systems I got yesterday and uh, if I bring you back down to down to it there we go um, so I'm a little uh, a little miffed as to what I'd, I'd love to use it but I just you know I can't unfortunately so that's that's one of the systems and uh, I don't know I don't even know if I can put if I can use this board as the main rig mainly because it is a full size ATX board guys and you saw it's got heaps of expansion slots in it and uh, well I can't use it at least not for my main rig unless there's some way I can get the M.2 card to work properly at M.2 speed so anyway so that's system one let me grab system two and we'll have a look at that and here's the uh, Here's the second system. Um, I actually don't mind these cases, if I'm honest. But uh, these are these nice Cooler Master cases, uh, which I actually I quite like the look of these. Compared to my existing case, which is the Thermal Take, I actually don't mind these cases. These are quite nice. This also has a full size ATX board in it. We'll have a look at this one. Actually, we'll go around the front first. So, we have a, a Zeus. 
Um, quick track, light scribe, DVD burner. We have USB 3 and 2 on the front, USB 2 card reader. Around the back, I'll get it in the right spot so you guys can actually see the rear I.O. We have, I'm trying to do this, assuming you guys can see it all properly, which you can't. There we go. So we have USB 2, combo PS2, a little USB 2, USB 3, USB 2, I don't know what that is. That's HDMI, more USB, I think. No, eSATA and uh, gigabit NIC, six channels of analog audio and a GTX 270 graphics card um, this also as I said this is a gigabyte motherboard full size ATX right but I also can't use this board because it too has MSATA <laughs> but I believe this is a 3.7 gig Core i7. Now I don't know what generation it is yet, but if it's a fourth gen, it may end up on my motherboard. The big GTX 270 graphics card. And uh, I think four gig of RAM. The motherboard is a gigabyte. If I can get my get it out of the light there, it is a uh, GA-Z68XP-D3 It does have USB 3 compatibility. It has two SATA 3.6 and two SATA th and four SATA 3.3 3, uh, SATA interfaces on this one Built-in ATI graphics, but obviously that's overridden by the graphics card and uh, It's a heavy graphics card, isn't it? Look at that freaking 12 pin power and 4 pins, 8 pin for the uh, CPU. Alright, let's get this one plugged up and have a sticky beak. Alright, so we'll turn this one on, which I think I've already done. See what's in this one. I do like the cases. Hybrid EFI technology, so it's an older board. See what the oh, okay. That's the <laughs> oh dear. Okay. So what's this got in it? What has this got in it actually? So we've got a Samsung half gear, half terra hard drive. Can't even tell what what freaking CPU this has got. You know, so yes, you can see what I'm going. How the hell do you find out with these old BIOSes what the what the proc is? Oh no, it's a Core i7 2600K at 3.4 gig, second gen. It's not bad, is it? I knew it was so. I I I struggle around these old BIOSes now, guys. I I really do battle. Uh, so it's a Core i7 2600K at 3.4 gig. It has four cores. Doesn't actually tell me whether it's well, it'll be eight eight thread, but I don't know if it's HT.
times have we had a 59? Whoa, no! Huh! Wow! No, I don't think we'll do that. Well, wow. Well, unfortunately, it can be overclocked, but I don't, I don't go that far over. That's insane. DDR3 RAM, though. But it is an older board. And I'm not sure my GTX 1050 Ti will work in this. It'll probably get bottlenecked. But the case is nice. I do like these cases. So we have, yeah, the power supply in it is a 650 watt, which I'm already running. But uh, again, it is a full size ATX board. It runs DX10.1. Not bad. The case is nice. case is much nicer actually but uh, not a bad little unit uh, I know what the operating system is on this this PC so we won't be won't be showing you that but uh, unfortunately yeah so that that's what I've got uh, in the tech acquisitions course half tempted to use this case because I do like these Cooler Master cases but I don't know, we'll figure something out so there we go, tech acquisitions for midweek Wednesday, at this stage guys, that is it for midweek here at Old Mates Backyard Tech uh, unless something else crops up um, which I don't know yet <laughs> if I don't catch you around the channel for the rest of today I will catch you around the channel for Thursdays tomorrow and uh, just another heads up guys, if your week has been a little bit yucky, just think about this. Towards the end of the Savo, start planning your weekend. It might bring a smile to your face. Enjoy your Wednesday guys. Cheers. This has been an Old Mate's Backyard Tech presentation.